So welcome to the second part of our presentation. I will be presenting about the explain add-on. I'm Dennis, as mentioned by Thomas. And yeah, so I'm an intern by Hibis. And as when I started, we were looking into projects that I could do. And uh, when we were looking for them, there was one that was long in the backlog and they really didn't have that much time for it. And me being there was like the point where they said, yeah, let's look into it. And that's the explain I done. And let's have a look what I'm trying to present here. So I have a search here from the system hosted by Hibis. We are looking for Helix Joe Biden. And I think we have all a pretty good idea what we should get here. And this particular installation has roughly 9 million titles that could be matched here. So let's have a look what we get. We get Brim's Tierleben. So that's like an encyclopedia, an historic encyclopedia about animals. And we search for Helix Joe Biden. So there's something up here. Those two things are very far apart and we wouldn't really expect this. So for this, let's have a look at Viewfind 9 and see what kind of information Viewfind gives us for searches and why the uh, why a certain title will be matched. As I mentioned, here we have a Viewfind 9. We search for Viewfind and I'm showing you the first two hits. The first hit has Viewfind in the title highlighted in yellow two times. And there's also Viewfind in the description, also nicely highlighted. The second title has Viewfind in its title and again highlighted very well. And that all makes sense for now. We have three times Viewfind for the first title. So naturally, three is more than one. It should be up above the, uh, the second one. But what happens if we go down the result list? Here, the 10th result to the 13th result, we don't have any information, no more highlighting, and we are lost again. We are looking why are those titles found, but there's no explanation. We also don't even have you find in the title or in the description anymore. So is there something else that we can look into? Yes, we can. There's another thing we find gives us a little hint about. It says it sorts by relevance. So now we know it sorts by relevance, but what is relevance? For this, we have to do a little excursion. So every time we find gets a search, it passes it to Solar. Solar does the heavy lifting and decides what titles get matched and how they are sorted. So let's have a look what Solar gives us. Yeah, so we have this wall of text here. I don't think anyone really knows what's written here. I can tell you it's a number, it's comprised of a formula. And even if I would format it a bit for you, it looks nicer, but I, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you why something would get matched because of this. So. Let's look forward. Isn't there an alternative way to present this? Of course there is. This is my presentation for it. And let's see what we can do with the information that the relevancy is a number. Going back to the result list, I added the bar chart for the relevancy. The full length of the bar is the re uh, relevancy score for the most scoring title, so the first one in the list. So naturally the first result would have a full bar and the second title also has the maximum uh, values for the first title's relevancy and its own relevancy. So here we can see it's about half the relevancy of the first title. And with that, we have a general idea how the relevancy is displayed for the titles. Going further down our result list, we have the relevancies for every title now. We get the general idea how the 
relevancy score develops over the results. And in this particular case, we can see that the first and second result are fairly relevant and all the following results have a really low relevancy score, even if like here in the third and fourth result, we uh, hit, we can see there's view find in the description, it's highlighted, but Solar said, yeah, that's more like a distant relative. We don't really think that's that relevant. So that's like the relevancy for this one. Let's have a look at another result list, this one for Darwin. And here we have a lot more hits. And there we can see the relevancy decreases more slowly. We have a much closer spread here. And yeah, that's but where we have a lot of hits, the relevancy decreases more evenly. Coming over to our detailed explanation, I already teasered it. If we really want to know why a title was found, we have to look at the specific explanation for a title. So let's have a look at it, how it is presented. We split it in three parts. We explain it in text form, in a pie chart and a bar graph. The text form also has here the top relevance score. So again, the relevancy of the first title. We see what we search for, we will find in this case. We also have the record ID of the title and the link to the title itself. So we really know what we are looking at right now. And of course, it's relevancy. Then we have a little description about the relevancy and its boost. So there's another thing you can do. You can boost titles. In this case, it's a constant of 19, but you can do a lot more like boosting a title that is newer compared to the other titles. So then it would say date something. And yeah, in this case, it's just a constant. Going down the text form, we see the ver various percentages of each field. So that's something from Solar again. Solar searches in fields, and we can see the fields here, and also their modifier. That's another thing that's customizable. Can give them a modifier, and they work like a boost. And also, we can see that this, it hits view find in this case. So it also lists what it was matching. That's nice and all, but I really like visual examples. So I also added the pie chart. The pie chart is about the text form, but if you hover over a slice, you get the real number because the slice obviously presents the percentage. And because we can't really take out the slice or leave parts open in the pie chart, we have the bar chart on the right here. And it shows us how much relevancy it has compared to the top result. So you can see how much the relevancy for this title is compared to the top one. Going into some examples. Here we have the result list for a search with Hamburg, Berlin, and China. And let's have a look at our first hit. This is here the text form and the pie chart again. I also added the headline of this title. And we can see that 33% was China, 20% was Hamburg, and 16% was Berlin. So it's fairly spread out. So that's something we would expect. We all have a lot of fields and that's why it's the top, uh, top hit. Coming to the next one. Interestingly, this one has the same headline and we see that China is now 40%, Hamburg 20%, 16%, that's more in line to the last one. And we have a few fewer um, fields that were matched. But that's something where the bar chart now comes in. We can see the overall relevancy decrease. That's not something you can read out of the pie chart. 
but the pie chart gives the visual visualization how the how each title how each field is compared to the others. So and that all makes sense. We clearly can see that Hamburg, Berlin, and China is in the title. And if you look here on the left, we can see that it's found in title full, unstamped, title full. So those are the fields. Coming to the next result, we can see that we have 72% for China, 15% China, 10% China. So the main reason the relevancy score is high in this title is because of China. And if you look at the title, we can see China Actual Journal for Current Chinese Affairs. So that makes sense. Coming to the next results, this one is interesting. We have match three and four, and those are the same fields. They are just weighted differently. So the relevancy for each field in this case differ a bit. And we can see that here in the headlines, that's something to look out for. On the left side, we have China Actual Journal of Current Chinese Affairs. On, on the right side, we have China and then a lot more words. So how many words compared to the one that's matched is something that also decides the relevancy score. And that's something that is really nicely here in this example. The next one, we have two fields that are very important here. That's the geographic and it's China and Berlin, but the overall relevancy score we can already see is very low. So yeah, remember that this one had uh, geographics. And the last one here, we again have China, Hamburg, Berlin, almost like the first one, but a lot of the fields are missing and the overall relevancy score now is really low. So this one is really far apart from what we would look into. Yeah. So adjusting the search specs, I was hitting around the bush a bit here. That's something we can do for solar or it searches and let's have a look for it, at it. Some of you already use this. Some of you might have heard of it, but let's just go over it quickly. Here are the fields. If you write them in here, Solar will check for those fields. If you leave them out, Solar will just ignore them. And we also have the number behind those fields. So title short has a boost of 750 and description of none. So title short will be 750 times more important than description. So let's see how we can move results in the result list. Um, again, Hamburg, Berlin, China. And I really want the fifth result to be on like the third place because I really like that title and I think a lot more people sh should read it. And if you remember, this one was the one where we had geographic. So something we would do for this is just boost geographic like 10 times like it was before and naturally the relevancy for those fields would increase. And I mark this for you. The fifth title now is the one with the green circle. And I did that beforehand. So of course it's now at the third space. And because all the other en entries, all the other hits here didn't have the geographic field, that was a really easy change to make. So only the one with the that I wanted to boost got boosted. So if you really want to get into search specs, there's a lot more finicky, but it's a starting point where you can use the explain to easier visualize how your changes affect the result. And another he here, another example, this time we search for Darwin and I don't really like how the third and fourth result differ that much in the relevancy and we want to adjust it a bit now. So let's have a look at those two hits. We can see they are mostly the same fields, but on the left side, we have Darwin in title 
and on the right side this just isn't there. So something you would come to think of would be just remove title from the fields and they would become more equally. So let's do that. And if we look at our result list, we can see that the third title increased in relevancy while the fourth title decreased. So what happened there? Let's have a look at each title. We can see that our change in decreasing the relevancy for the title field, in this case, we boosted it with 0.1. So it's really not relevant for the relevance score. Um, the field title is not included anymore, but the overall relevancy changed unlike we did predict it. So another thing we found out about the relevancy by using the explain graphics and reading into it. So there are some expert functions, I would call them. You can uh, set min percent and max fields. Then you get like this rest portion it sums up every field that is in it to the sum and also adjusts the graphics. In this case, we said there should just be two fields. So all the other fields get summed up in the rest. Something more practical would be to say, yeah, our min percent should be 1%. Everything that's under 1% really shouldn't impact the relevancy. So we can just sum that up into one big field, then it clears a bit how uh, it is visualized. Another thing you can adjust are the decimal places. In this case, we have two decimal places, but you can put it to zero, you can put it to five. So it's some very specific configurations you can do here. And as you can see, some of the fields here what it matched are tinted in a slight blue, while others are in full black. So we can say Berlin, China, Berlin, full black. That's because that's exactly what we searched for. You can see in our search, Hamburg, Berlin, China. That's exactly what we searched. But China with an X is uh, blue tinted. So that's Something you can also do with solar, it's a sound alike search. So, China and China sound alike. And it said, yeah, that matches. So, we also put it in here. And at the end, the conclusion to our little problem at the beginning, we searched for Helix, Joe Biden, and we got the encyclopedia about animals. I have the explanation here on the left. It found Biden, it found Helix, and then we have this blue one here, it found Joe. It's again the sound alike, so it's not Joe with E, just Joe. And it is in the MISC field. So it's like title enrichments. In this case, this was the table of content. We took a look at it and searched for Helix, Joe and Biden, and we can clearly see those are all here. And the culprit of this all, the small butterfly. <laughs> so yeah, there's this book from 1877 that just happened to have all, the, all those things that match. And that's why it was shown. And that's about it. Thank you for listening. I'm giving back to Thomas for the third part of our presentations.